Right, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm out, I think I'm outside, uh, Perth, I basically, what I've done, i booked the colonic integration, <laughs> colonic integration. Ooh. <laughs> Just relax. No, relax. I've always wanted to have it done, never had it done. Well, I did used to do it back in the Sanchez days when I used to do the um, Stella Enema. God knows how many of them I did and how many pints of Stella I stuck up my ass, but it's way over 100 pints. Uh, but that's not the proper way of doing it. I wanted it, pro I want it done properly and professionally, and I've always wanted to have it done. So I spoke to my mate who found somebody in Swansea. Her name's Jan, so I'm calling her Colonic Jan. <laughs> Uh, I parked outside and I'm going to go in and fingers crossed she's good to be on camera if so then um, then we can get we can get this on camera if not shit happens but uh, let's go just to show that I've been through it with you I'm just going to sign my sign my life away We heard in Jan's studio. Say hello, Jan. Hello. What, what are you going to do to me today, Jan? <laughs> well, uh, I think you booked in for clonic hydrotherapy. Yeah. And that entails a gentle wash of body um, purified water. Mm. And it's at body temperature, so it's not going to be cold. It's going into the rectum. And the idea is to clean out the large intestine. The small intestines aren't touched mm. at all. So, and what? <laughs> and it lasts about 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, does it? So we're going to be on that bed for 30 to 40 minutes with the tube up my back, so yes, cleaning yes, everything out. Yes, yes. There's a, there's a viewing tube as well. In between the tubes, so there's, you can see what's coming out. You'll be able to view what's coming out. And then oh, it goes are you seeing some stuff in your time? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit, yeah. Oh, God. You haven't seen any mice or anything come out? <laughs> No, not that bad. No, no cockroaches and like that. So, what's the uh, what's the benefit to doing this? Because I've always wanted to do it, and and I finally found you, and that, and this is brilliant. I'm looking forward to it. Well, the large intestine is the last part before we release, obviously, the waste from the body. So yeah. these muscles are very important, and if you don't go to the toilet often, all these little muscles can get filled up with old fecal waste. And that stops them working because what happens is this part is sort of extracts the rest of the vitamins, nutrients, and water out of the waste that we need in the body. So if it's all you know covered with fecal waste and things like that, it can't extract the vitamins and nutrients and things that we need and the water as well. So it's very important to try and keep that clean. And the thing is, we don't go to the toilet now as often as we should. People think they've got something wrong with them if they go to the toilet more than once a day but actually you should go after every meal so you should go three or four times a day because your body should be a 24 hour clock so what you eat for oh. breakfast one day you should release after breakfast the following day and so on your lunch lunch the following day dinner dinner the following day so it should be a 24 hour clock Interesting, but, but that doesn't that doesn't happen. No, most people not. But it's because of our diet. It's what we eat and and not drink enough. Because we can live longer without food than we can without water. Water should be our mainstay and in, in our body. But when you have tea, a cup of tea depletes you of half a pint of water. A coffee will deplete deplete you of a pint of water. So when you think about how many coffees people drink a day, how many teas people yeah. drink a day, That's a and they think they are having yeah. their water intake by drinking those, and they're not. They actually take it out. Yeah, take it out. And if and by not cleaning the colon, you've got a good chance of getting cancers and stuff as well. Is that true? I don't know. I can't okay. say that I'm not medically trained, so I, I can't answer that one. I okay. don't know. It it can cause a lot of problems. Yeah. Obviously, and uh, you know, so it is, you know, beneficial to have these treatments. You know, if you haven't got a good diet, especially, you know. Right. So, um, without further without further ado. Right. Let's get, uh, let's get it down. Okay. All I ask you is that you don't push and you don't clench your muscles. Just relax, okay? You have to relax.
I know it's difficult because, you know, you're doing something you wouldn't normally do. You know, you're laying <laughs> on a couch and you're going to release from your back. Well, that's it. after years of doing Dirty Sanchez <laughs> and having hose pipes up my backside, I know exactly what you're <laughs> Exactly what you're on about. Uh, I, uh, I think I'm a trained professional, so I should be all right there, uh, Jan. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, at any point, if you want me to stop the treatment, I can stop it. All right. Right then, Clonic Jan, let's go. Right. Right, so go lay next to that bed, wall. Lay in the bed. With your knees, yeah, with the knees with bent. With your knees bent on your side, facing the wall, you know. Right. All right, and I'm going to cover you with a towel now. All right. Right, come down the bed a little bit more. So. Yeah. Now before we start, I'm going to give you a rectal, a rectal examination, okay? Oh, you might, might, see my, uh, might see my piles, Jan. <laughs> well, I probably will, yeah. Now it takes a couple of seconds it's to make sure there's no obstructions or so, okay? So you, what I'm going to do now is find the back of each one. Relax. No, relax. Okay. Oh, it's the it's my it's my piles. Right. I, they're they're right, really. Of, oh. Right, I'll try and clear, 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 I thought I was gonna pass out then. Right. Okay. Now. Just relax. Just relax. Okay. Don't push against me. And whatever you do, don't push. Now I'll clench your muscles. Okay. Right. Oh God. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. <sighs> right. Well, I'm going to give you a running commentary now, all right? <laughs> that was uh, that first part, because I've got piles, that first part was really painful. <laughs> but it just got. <laughs> No clenching, no nothing. You no, just got to, you've you just got to relax. Oh. I know the water's about to go in. I'm feeling a bit more comfortable now. Yeah, yeah, that's the tubes in, it's okay. Oh, my piles, man. Right, I'm going to squeeze the tube now just for a couple of seconds to push the water up the right. Oh. Now, you can see in the it makes you feel like you want to poo. Yeah, exactly, but don't push. Don't. Well, <laughs> what happens if I push, Jan? I'm going to. You, you look like you're being covered. Don't push. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, so I'm just clearing out the rectum now, so I'm oh. Going to move onto your back. What a really strange feeling that is. I know it is. Right now, give me this leg here. Right now, slowly come over onto your back with your knees bent. So lay in the back. Right over onto your back. Right, you can go a bit quicker than that. Come on. Now, legs up, legs up. That's it. I've got to check now. You haven't pushed this out because... No, I, I didn't squeeze. No, you are right. Alright, so don't push, don't push, yeah. okay? Right, that leg over there. I'm going to elevate the tubes now, okay? Right. There's a mirror there, can you see this tube in the mirror? Yeah. Okay, that's the tube, that's my viewing tube, and your viewing tube. That's what I'll see. She want, you want to um, no, swallow it? No, I need here we go. Right, we look, can have a look what's coming out of my uh, backside now no, in the, in the distance. Lay back a little bit if you possibly can. We need to massage, okay? When I massage, can, is, is it giving you any pain or anything? It's alright, sir. It's fine. Right, 
at the moment the waste that's coming out is just bitty right it's very bitty it's not formed all right what's it more <laughs> I had to come off halfway. I was in absolute agony. <laughs> so I just had to um, let it all go and I'm going to try again, I think. Round two, because uh, <laughs> I'm finding it hard to <laughs> relax. Ooh. So, yeah, first time it's fine now to relax. So I couldn't, the water was coming in, but I couldn't relax to let the water out. So it was building up my stomach. And I, I was in so much agony. So I had to, I had to uh, go to, uh, turn around. No, stay there. Yeah. And then uh, I had to go to the toilet and go, oh God, I've never, left, no, I've never seen so much liquid come out of my backside before. Okay, we'll have another try. There we are. Okay, starting to come out now. Ah, look at that. I think he's stressing. He's feeling your pain. <laughs> <laughs> When you first come to do these kind of things, you think it's going to be easy. You think, oh, stick a tube up your bottom, sit back, relax, and uh, let the uh, let the water do its work. But whew, honestly, man, it was, well, I found it pretty hard anyway. That's why I'm going for round two. <laughs> it's amazing how much water you can get up there. Because <laughs> when, when I went to the toilet, then I thought I was going to... I could go to flood the toilet. <laughs> right, that was the second uh, second update. The second one didn't go too too bad. But now we've got to let, let go ready. Oh, nice proper clean out. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly me. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fresh from that, um, that colonic. Well, um, well, well oh, <laughs> I've always wanted to do it, and I thought it was going to be easy, but it's far from easy. It's trying to relax your. Excuse the word sphincter, your a hole. So 
once the water goes in, the stuff can come out. But I just, there was this mental block in my head that if I relaxed, <laughs> if I relaxed my a-hole, I was just going to shit all over her bed. <laughs> and, I, and that's the last thing I wanted to do, but she kept convincing me that I wouldn't. But I just couldn't, I couldn't switch that off. So I stopped halfway through, got off, went to the toilet. <laughs> I've never felt so much stuff come out of my backside in all my life and I got back on and I sort of got used to it a little bit then and I, and I, and I, I did it properly uh, and then got off the bog again emptied out again so basically I've just had a massive full on empty out of my bowels I feel good uh, I got some po <laughs> got, I've got piles so when she put the KY on to try and get the tube up my backside oh god that killed but um anyway i've done it now i've got to go back in four weeks and get it done again but uh if um if you guys or guys girls anybody anybody out there who wants to go and get a chronic irrigation she does coffee ones she does uh, mineral one mineral one she does a lot of, loads of different ones i'll leave her number down below in the in the comments give her a ring Go and see her. She's a lovely lady. She made me feel really comfortable. I, considering what she was doing, she made me feel really comfortable. Uh, but yeah, give it a go, man. I, I feel quite light, actually, after getting rid of all that. Anyway, off back to Cardiff. Uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. Press the bell for updates. Uh, and give us a follow. Give us a share. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, next week, got him off next week. I'm doing something next week, and it's going to be good.